All right, let's go to DC. Why is this battery blinking? I'm out, let's go to Palm Beach first. We don't know if we're going to DC. This just didn't charge me, that's okay. We're gonna pack the G7, but we'll take the G7 50 for now. so much but that means I got more time with him but he still had to go in for like an hour or two so I just napped because I was so tired then he came back and we hung out his friend is in town so we all got to meet his friend and we all got sushi together it was really fun it was really good it was called sushi Joe Joe sushi it was so good we went to the one in Jupiter because apparently their fish are fresher there because they catch them like right there but so we did last night came home chilled on the couch hung out um, then went to bed, and now it's Saturday. Did I say that? Yesterday was Friday. They have a double header cherry place in the first one, but it looks like it might start raining here soon. But before it rains, I want to run to Pier Vida, which is an hour. I hope I can run there at 30. I'm kind of cutting it close because the game starts at 1 if it doesn't get rained out. So let's go run to Pier Vida. I'll put film clips in. Okay guys, I am ready for the game. Okay, we got ready, we ran to Paravita, got Paravita, it was so good, it was a bowl. But their coffee's like literally hit or miss. Like, we're gonna pack. This is summer Friday. I brush my teeth this morning, I might need to brush them right now. Summer Friday, deodorant, perfume. We'll try, maybe this will be. I'll wear these sunglasses. Dior purse. I think I need to brush my teeth. That's what I'm gonna do real quick. Game starts in like 40. I'm about to call it Uber. We just got home. It was such a good game. I traded so good. He got three out of four hits, three singles, and he did so good, which is he did everything he needed to do, and I'm so proud of him. It was a really good game to watch, and I sat with Katie and Jacob. They're from my hometown, and they're here because Jacob's a huge Cardinals fan, and so they have spring training tickets, and I was like, wait, I can hang out with them. So I sat with them, and they were so nice and drove me home. It was so good to catch up with them, too. I'm sweating so much. The weather was good, though, because like the sun wasn't out, but it was just cloudy but not raining, and then the sun came out, so it was really good, but I'm really hot. I tried to have to take the bus back from Jupiter to here, and then I think he's going to shower at the field and then come home, but it's so nice that they had a not a night game because it's only four and we have the whole night so we gotta see what he needs to do because i think he needs to pack i think we need to pack but really fun day and i just realized tomorrow their game is in port st lucie the meds place which is an hour away so i don't even know if i can go to that one but Good morning guys, I'm still in West Palm. Trey left this morning for, they have a game in Port St. Lucie. They play the Mets and that's an hour away so I'm not going to that one, but it's their last game of spring training, how insane. Um, but we did wake, we slept into like 11. I had a lot of decisions to make about where I'm going, what I'm doing. I think I decided, I'm not so sure, but I got up like 11, went on a run outside by the water. It was so beautiful, but it was so hot. I did three miles, but I like I stopped some. Then I came back. Got my swimming on for the beach. This is from Le, Le Seon. I don't know how to say it, but it's Sydney Adams workout brand. They sent me a bikini and it's so cute. This is from Victoria's Secret. These are from Princess Polly. Just have my Burks on. No makeup because we want to get tan. It's 
such a nice day. Look how pretty it is outside. Finally, it was raining all freaking week. But their game starts in five minutes. I'm gonna keep up with it, but we're gonna go to the beach. And I'm Ubering to Pier Vida, gonna get a coffee. And then my friend Anna is picking me up. She lives here. She came to Charleston and works for the Mills House Hotel Marketing. Or works for a marketing brand, but did the Mills House Hotel. And I did it, like I modeled for them. And so she found me through Instagram and now we're friends. And this is gonna be our second time meeting up. But I'm so excited because she lives here. So she's gonna pick me up. We're gonna go to the beach, get pub subs, and it's gonna be a great day. And I'm gonna come back, go to the airport, and figure out where I'm going, what I'm doing, which I'll keep you guys updated. <laughs> Okay guys, look who I'm with. They're like, wait, from what? From what? <laughs> okay, we did a photo shoot. Yeah, I was on the production Trauma side. bond, I'm just we kidding. Trauma, <laughs> we trauma bonded we actually did. And we actually did. Um, but we just bonded in one day and we've been trying to hang out since. And she lives West Palm in West Palm, Fort Lauderdale yeah. area. So every time I've been here, I've been trying to hit her up, but like it just hasn't worked because like the schedule's crazy. But now today, Finally worked. It out. finally worked. Trace gone all day. Honestly, gone until he goes to DC, and I'm like, perfect. What are you doing? And I text her so out. last minute, and she's like, Yep, I'm on my way to get you. And I'm like, perfect. Literally. So Anna squared is back, back to front. Back in action. Back in bed. Are already planning our next trip. We're planning a trip to Columbia, and then I'm gonna go to Charleston next. Yeah. Yeah. You have to come back. Yeah. I need to go back. And then like, stay I'll with you guys here. here. Yeah. So yeah, we just got pub subs. I'm literally gonna devour this. I'm starving. Yes. And. It's we're at Juno Beach today. The first time I, the water's it's so, so blue nice. on here. I love the water. I love hey guys, so I think I've lived ten lives since I last talked to you guys. When I last talked to you guys, I was with Anna on the beach, I think. Or did I talk to you once I got home? I think I did when I was packing. And I said I'm going to DC for a couple days. We did that. But shortly after that, I called my Uber. And I've never had a problem like this with Uber, like ever. And I go to get in the Uber. Keep in mind, like, this Uber, like, I was a little nervous with the picture, but I try not to judge a book by its cover. But now I'm going to be judging books by its cover because what? And I check the license plate. He says it's Anna. I'm like, okay, perfect. And he's like, oh, like, you can come sit in the front seat. Like, it's going to be a long drive. Like, you might as well because I was going to Fort Lauderdale. And I was like, oh, that's so nice. No, that's weird. That's weird if they do that. So I get him. Give him mine. Trey's, like, big, big, tall roommate is in the yard, like, packing up his car. So I feel like that's why this man didn't say anything right away. So all he says is we're driving off. He's like, are you here for spring break? And I'm like, oh, no, I'm visiting my boyfriend. And then we turn the corner, and he's like, he literally immediately turns to me and is like, well, I love you. And I'm like, this has to be a bit. Like, this has to be a bit. And he's like, he's like, no, like, that's why I picked you up. Like, I love you. Like, you were so beautiful. And I'm like, like, it's not even nice. Like, it's creepy. Like, he's not saying it nicely. And then he just keeps going. I don't even say anything. He's like, I'm mad you have a boyfriend. Like, it's a shame. Like, I wanted to take you home. I want to marry you. Saying all these things, looking me dead in the eyes. It was the scariest thing, like, you guys. Like, it wasn't, like, a sweet. Like, it was scary. Just saying, like, I want to marry you. I wanted to take you home. And you're so beautiful, and I love you. And that's why he picked me up, which I don't know. I don't have a picture on my Uber. So, at this point, I'm, like, already texting Trey. I'm, like, I'm nervous. Like, please help. Or, like, I'm really scared. And so he calls me immediately. So I have him on the phone. And I'm like, and I wait till we're on a main road because I don't want to do it where nobody can see. Like, I don't want to try and get out when nobody can see me. So I go on a main, we go on a main road. Thank God we weren't near the highway. And I go, okay, I want to get out, please. And he's like, what? Like, he was like shook and like so surprised. And I was like, yes, please. I want to get out. And I like, it honestly sounded like I was breaking up with him. I was like, it's not you, it's me. And luckily he let me out. He's like, are you sure? And I'm like, yes. So luckily he let me out and let me get my stuff, but like that could have been bad. Like what if he didn't? What if we got further into the trip? Like I don't know. It was very, I was very shaken up. And then I sat in my suitcase on the street for a long time. These two little boys came out and were like, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, I'm good. Like this happened, they're really nice. But then this one creepy boy, man, I don't know, came up again because I was trying to get an Uber and I was just declining so many men because at this point I'm traumatized and I wanted a girl and I'm getting closer and closer to missing my flight. So I keep declining and finally, 
as, I, or as I'm declining, this boy comes up and he's like, hey, how old are you? And I'm like, this never happens to me either. Like, and this, like, it wasn't even, I don't know. I'm sure this kid was just like harmlessly trying to flirt. But like, after what I just experienced, I was like, no. I was like, I was like, I'm like 25. And he's like, okay, like, how's your day? Like, I just want you to look really pretty. I just want to say, hey, like, it was kind of creepy, honestly. It wasn't like nice. Maybe it was nice. I don't know. And then he was like, okay, like, I won't bother you. And I was like, because he was kind of cornering me. Not cornering, but like in front of me. And I was like, no, it's fine. Like, have a good day. And he laughed. Thank goodness. Then I finally get connected with a girl after trying like 17 times. And this girl was my Lord and Savior, y'all. I hope you're watching this, Miss Girl. She says, I'm your Jamaican Uber driver. Because we had a whole heart to heart. The second I got in, she was like, are you okay? Like, or she asked, I started telling her about my last ride and I just started crying my eyes out because like I was so shaken up, I guess I didn't even realize. And she was so nice. She was such like a motherly figure. When I called my dad to tell him, he was like, mom said that. I was like, so true, honestly. Because like she's just what I needed in that moment. Like a comforting shoulder. We talked about like defense mechanisms, like girls, like how it is being a girl. She wants to go back to nursing school for her kids. I was helping her out. I was helping her out with like vlog camera recommendations because she thought that was cool. I told her I did it. She said she's going to comment on my video. I hope she does and be my number one fan. And that I inspired. She wants to go back to nursing. So that was really awesome car ride that we had and bonded. And like I felt so safe and it was so nice. I love girls. Got to the airport. I got there at literally 6 24 and my flight took off at 49 and the doors closed at 39 and I got there at 24 to the Fort Lauderdale airport after a spring break weekend Ask me if I made it I did like never worry about me. Okay. I'm gonna jinx that now, but like Somehow we just have made it work like we sprinted literally sprinted to TSA TSA was a short line I go I start to go to the TSA with my base luggage and the guy's like your ticket says no no check no carry on and I got away with this before so I didn't think it'd be a problem so I was like I was like listen sir I'm about to miss my flight please 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 can I just go and he's like nope your ticket says no you have to go back and check it and, I, and at this point I know if I even take one step backwards I'm missing my flight like even one foot step so I'm like sir like you don't understand like I've been it's been a day and I just need to check my bag and seriously if I miss this flight I have to stay here and I don't know where I'm gonna stay I'll be homeless like I don't know what to do and he's like no you have to check and I'm like no like no please no so I start like literally edging like past him and i'm like literally like gaslighting this man like i'm like no it's fine like seriously it's fine i'm like just literally it's fine like act like you didn't see it like it's totally fine and i zoom literally before he can even say anything he doesn't stop me i literally just gaslit this man to let me through i was like i'll pay for it at the gate i swear they didn't make me check it at the gate like it was totally fine it, there was room for it run 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 literally when people say run to the airport i mean it i was running and i was in my like birkenstocks so, like it was hard to run Run, 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 run. get to my gate and I check my ticket and I go how how close was I to missing it and they go two minutes and I was like yes got on my flight I had to put my luggage closer up front not where I was sitting but that was fine I was closer anyways sat down and made the flight and I was so happy I it was a bumpy flight I guess because weather but I was okay for the most part I was a little nervous at one part but I was pretty okay which means I've come so far with my flight anxiety but there was a sweet girl next to me reading a book and I could tell she was anxious she kept like touching the window or like just moves that I know because that was me and still sort of is but like that was me and I saw her like grab meds and take them and I saw her like freaking out and like I wanted so bad to say something and I wish I did because I had people say something to me when I was freaking out but every time I started to work up the courage the bumps would stop and she'd go back to reading so I was like but I wish I did but I also didn't want to be invasive and like make her uncomfy but, like also I just wanted to comfort her and be like I've been there like we're gonna be okay I wish I did I regret it but she made it we made it um and now I'm at the hotel and I'm ordering ramen. It should be here at one, it's 1 45 a.m. I got in so late. So, I ordered ramen. Like where, I can't wait to explore DC tomorrow. I don't know what our plans are for tomorrow. I know he has practice. I think his family and me are gonna go to the practice. Um, but I thought it was gonna be an off day, but it's fine. Hopefully we'll get to hang out after. I saw there's a solid core literally 0.2 miles away. I kinda wanna explore in DC. So we'll see what we're gonna do, but I'm about to go down to the lobby and get this ramen is what I'm gonna do. I airplayed this hotel room is so nice. It's like king size bed. It's a beautiful view of DC. You can't see it because we closed it. And then I'm airplaying Paige Flynn's vlog on this giant TV. 
And it's just nice here in DC, but it's crazy. It's like 41 degrees. I did not expect. Y'all, yeah, my Uber Eats had an option where you can combine like two stops. So I did, this place didn't have any drinks, the summer place. So I had them stop at 7 Eleven for a freaking random body armor. But I'm excited. I don't think I've had ramen since I was in New York. How is it almost 2 a.m.? These noodles need to melt. I'm a little scared. Okay, we are ready. We're wearing this top I got at H&M yesterday. These jeans from Revolve. They're like supposed to be worn low-waisted. They're really cute, but they fit weird. Um, red Sambas. I don't know what to do with my hair because it's crazy right now. And it's so flat, but I need to go because the practice starts in 12 minutes and it's a five minute walk and I wanna get coffee first. I might buy a hat there, like it's so greasy. avocado toast i'm so excited to eat it i haven't eaten today it's like 2 30 i woke up my plan was to like do pilates go work out but i didn't know any of the plans and like how to get to the practice because it was like a friends and family only practice but his mom texted me and helped me get it and i went like all the way freaking around the whole entire building before i found the entrance and then i finally did like i literally walked around the whole entire nationals park and I finally found, and it was like a family entrance. A security guard had to walk me through like the underground tunnel. It was crazy. Then we watched them hit and throw, and Trey was in group three. And they did some hitting, and it was fun. And then we got to go up to see them, and we took pictures, and like got to talk to him, and hang out with them, and like literally go on the field while they're batting. It was really cool. But he should be back soon. They might, or he might have to do this tour thing. But then he should be back and be off tonight, which I'm so excited because the weather in D.C. feels perfect outside now. Like, with the sun shining, it's like 56, 57, and it feels so good in the sun. So I'm going to eat this and chill until he gets back. I forgot a um, room key, and we have two. He's like, really? You forgot? I'm like, yeah. So I had to ask them for one, but this hotel's bougie, and she's like, I can't give you it. Your name's not on it. So I had to call him, and she had to tell him to let me in, and I got a key. I'm back we did solid core it was so good i forget how freaking hard solid core is also it's like 41 degrees out and i'm literally wearing just trey's jacket and i have literally it was freezing walking but it's fine it was like right over there we're in like near the navy yard is where the hotel is like right near the stadium and so everything's like it's a really cute area like i really really like it but um i got me some avocado toast again because at dinner i just didn't have an appetite last night for some reason like i just had a couple some sweet potato fries and like a couple bites of my salad so i need to feel that and then i just want to let her with oat milk and i got mary Landis one too because she got in last night and she's about to come to my room to get ready i got her a muffin too i have no idea i just guessed on what she wanted normally we both get the same lattes Y'all, I hard launched in my story because like I'm sick of this like hard launch soft launch like whatever. I'm just fucking I don't care. Get it over with. So I tagged him on my story. Right now it has 35.7k views, but 39,900 sticker taps. Like how is that possible? Hi, is it possible to order 
like mimosas to the room or would you have to get those downstairs? Okay, can I order two mimosas to 905 please? Okay, thank you. It's cold. Like, do you have a jacket? Oh, I have a jacket, yeah. I have a sweatshirt. I know, I'm like, it's, I kind of want to go to the little shop thing and look for stuff. Because I have like yeah. nothing. Oh, let's do it. Okay, yay. Okay, I didn't realize the time, but I'm coming over. I know, I'm like, wait, I gotta hurry. Okay, see you soon. Okay, bye. bye. Coming! Oh, hi. Thank you. I need a PSA member. It's obsessed with golf right now. Yo, I thought that was Mary Lantis. Wait, okay, so the first time the door, I thought it was me, and I literally like ran and I like jumped and I was like this, and it was just the guy who ordered mimosas. <laughs> he was like, Mimosa? Yeah, I was Yay. like, I was like, can I order them to the room? And he was like, yeah. <laughs> that was so embarrassing. He had the card, and I literally was like, <laughs> he's like, um, hello? That shirt is so cute. Thank you. I'm so glad you made it. I know. I'm so excited. It was stressed. So it was the Dude, doors. I saw you. Did I you make? <laughs> we have double. We have double. Wait, have double. I don't like mine that much. Look, try it. Perfect. Now you have another it one. Oh, you're so sweet. Wait, it looks intense. Day. We're back. <laughs> We're back. We're back. <laughs> We're back. We're back. We're all back. We're back in better. <laughs> better. Upgraded. Taste this. Okay. It tastes like chocolate. This like, like, isn't even coffee. I know, I'm like, okay, it's fancy, but it's like not coffee. Like cool, but it's like, I feel like it's so like, like mocha-y. It's actually weird. I know, I was like, okay, do you have your tickets or does Brady? Oh, no. No, I, none of us do. None of them do? No. Trey's mom has our tickets. Yeah, no. <laughs> we don't have tickets, so. Brady's mom's going like at like 11. <laughs> no, it doesn't. The king size bed. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we can wall. literally share. We, have, we don't have big booties. Okay. Cheers! Cheers. <laughs> Wait, I gotta watch the thing that's never Wait, been. Hold on, pause. Did you watch it? No, I just seen TikTok clips. <laughs> well, I just at the, I ended up the. She's like, I don't think I won. She's like, I don't think I won because I can just tell. So she goes to him and literally breaks up with him because she's like, it's not me. Like I know it's not me. So that was the big twist. It's like, okay, because I felt like he was gonna propose to her, and I felt like she got psyched out that he was acting. No, like he that. wasn't gonna. Like she, was, she was right. She was right. That's what I said. I thought it was. I haven't watched it, but she was right. Then she went and told Kelsey, and was like, "It's you. Like it's you." And then they they rode in the car together and had a girly moment first. Or I guess that's when she breaks up with him after she told Kelsey. She it's watches you. the proposal. Daisy watches. No, so Daisy goes first, breaks up with him. It's oh like God. I know it's Kelsey, and on the way told Kelsey it's you. Like your mom is so proud of you. Like she's looking down. Like apparently it's like this is really. I, I can't wait to watch it honestly. Cause like apparently it's a really really sweet moment. That is really sweet. 